Hey, Kat here with a April book haul. I know I haven't done a book haul in a while and I'm not going to do it for the other month because other months because um I don't exactly know what I bought in which month and yesterday was a big month because it was my birthday and I don't really want to go looking for all that so we're just gonna skip that and do April even though it's not over yet but I'm not expecting to get any more books. I already have a lot. It's like 21. That's no more. Hello righty then. So let's start off I guess with this pile. So one of the first books I'm going to show you is Order 66. And it's a Star Wars novel part of the old canon not the new canon and this is the order that the clone troopers clone yeah I'm is that the correct term for them? I don't know. I haven't seen the prequels in a while. Um, they attack the Jedi and kill them all. This is about the Order 66. So yeah. Let's see if it's good. I heard this one was good in the old canon, and that's pretty good because a lot of crap has been produced in the old canon. So, and this was one of the few good ones. So I'm excited to read it. The next book I got was Eyes of the Dragon by Stephen King. Um, I'm actually not a huge fan of Stephen King. I've tried his Pet Cemetery before, and I didn't really enjoy it. But this is a fantasy novel, a hard fantasy novel, which isn't like his horror novels like the Dark Tower series or something. And uh, my dad really liked it, so I'm going to give it a shot. And this is just about a guy named Peter or something trying to take down Flag. And Flag is a reoccurring character in Stephen King's universes. So, um, yeah, I hopefully has a dragon in it. The next book I got is the Bartimus trilogy by Jonathan Stroud. And this is the first book, The Amulet of Samarkan. And it looks like so. And I'm guessing this is about trolls and, you know, Nathaniel, 11 years old, so it's middle grade. Uh, Magician's Apprentice uh, brutally humiliates Nathaniel in public or something. A uh, 5,000-year-old genie. I didn't know how to genie in this. So, yeah, it's just your basic middle grade fantasy. Next is The Dark Rising by Susan Cooper. Suzanne Cooper. And this is the second book in her Dark Rising sequence, which is a King Arthur sort of retelling. Um, this is only 25 cents, so I just decided to pick it up. And if I see the first one somewhere or at my library, I'll pick that up. So, Next three books I got was uh, my trip in Barcelona. I got three books, and one of them is The Barefoot Queen. It's a historical fiction novel about this girl named something who comes from Cuba and is moving to Barcelona to escape slavery. And I don't know, I thought it was interesting, and I got some pretty good reviews, so... The next book I got is a Carlos Carlos uh, Rosefron book, and it's Marina, and it looks like so. And I'm pretty sure this is like a ghost story because they meet it. They meet this girl in a graveyard, and there's a black butterfly, and Oscar and Marina follow her. And um, post-war Barcelona, dark streets, lights, waiting. You know, it says gothic tale, a magical gothic tale. So yeah, that seems interesting. Next is Barcelona Shadows, and this is a mystery novel by the point of view of death. I've heard mixed reviews on it, but it was like a independent novel that got translated into English, and it's a Barcelona author, and I was like, well, you know, screw it. I'll try it out. The next book I got was Demon Road by Derek Landy, and he's the same guy who did the Skullduggery Pleasant series, which is my favorite <laughs> series ever, even though I have two more books to finish, but whatever. I also want to read this one. I want to read all of his books, and I found this at my bookstore, and I'm going to grab it, and I'm not quite sure what this is about, other than a 16-year-old named Amber, and Force on the Run, Killer Cards, Vampires, Undead, Serial Killers, and Red Skin Horn Demons. Sounds like a roller coaster event. Sounds like Skullduggery Pleasant, except with an older protagonist in the beginning. And yes. The next book I got was The Midnight Queen by Sylvie, uh... Sylvia Hunter, and I'm also quite not quite sure what this book is about other than it was free and some people were talking about it on Goodreads and I really like the cover. It's a love story, I guess. I don't know. Juliet Marere uh, really likes it and Marie Brennan. So it's a historical fiction love tale, I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure. The next book I got is actually one I've already read, and that is uh, The Trails of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan. And I really should have finished the Percy Jackson series before reading this book, but whatever. I'll go into more of it on my wrap-up. <laughs> next two books I got was for the book two's SFS Ford. 
and that is a crown, a court of thorn and roses, and then a court of mist and fury by Sarah J. Mass, and another book I'm not quite what sure what it's about, other than it's like a Beauty and the Beast retailing with fairies and courts and a guy named Tamlin who's apparently really hot. I don't know. A 19 year old huntress. She she stole a life. Now she must pay with her heart. That it, that doesn't hook you into a series. Woo! I don't know what will. The next two books I got um, is the Death and Life of Zidian Finch by Daniel Krauss, and this is book one, and then book two, and this is just I think like Empire Decayed, but it's just the same book cut in half. And I got these for my dad. And yeah, Daniel Krauss, Krauss, Krauss is one of my favorite authors ever. And I kind of want to read uh, Scholar, I think I believe it's called, I believe it's called, before getting into this one. Because apparently you meet the character in these books and it's quite a sad ending for that man. But I want to see uh, how these books are. These got really mixed reviews, but so do all of his books. Because the description of his novels never really match up with what the book's about. So... Yeah, at least you go into really shocked. That's a good sign, right? The next book I got was also a gift from my father. So was The Court of Thorns and Roses, by the way. That was also my gift from my daddy. Um, <laughs> the next book I got is Follow Cost for My Dad by Quill Carter. And this is a dystopian um, novel with cannibalism and other stuff. Uh, it is quite graphic, more graphic than I was assuming because um, I flipped through a page and I got found a really graphic rape scene. So this is going to be a fun read. Huh. But um, it follows a guy named, I think it's like Ralph Raver and I forgot the other guy's name. And they're just our buddies and chilling around and falling in love and dealing with cannibalism. Sounds like an episode of Hannibal. I love that show too damn much. The next book I got was a book I got yesterday and also a book from my dad. <laughs> My dad gives me a lot of books. Good. I'm glad. Then I don't have to spend my money on all everything. Right? 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 Love you, Dad. And the next book I got was Thrawn by Timothy Zahn. And it's a Star Wars book. And it's almost as big as my face. But um, I love Thrawn. I didn't really like the last series by Timothy Zahn. But I really liked certain stuff about it. And hopefully now that Timothy Zahn has grown as a writer, he will appear grow in my eyes as a writer because <laughs> I really didn't like his, the Heir to the Empire series. But you know what? I trust him. He'll redeem himself. Plus, I made a goal to read every book part of the new canon of Star Wars. And so far, I have reached that goal. Yes. <laughs> the next four books I got are all part of one series. And... I'm actually reading this series with a co-worker now that I figured it, uh, we'd all decided to do this. And yeah, so now I have to get all the books. And I don't really even like the books, but I like one character that makes everything worth it. And I am going to stick with this series and read it with my co-workers because, like, God, we got to talk about something, man. I can't read at my workstation anymore. I got yelled at. <laughs> so that is the Infernal... the. Cassandra Clare series. Okay, guys, there's a whole bunch of them. I don't know at this point. So the first book I got is Clockwork Orange, which is the first book in the Infernal Devices. And one, oh, Clockwork Angel, not Clockwork Orange. And um, I've actually already read this one. I just forgot everything that happened. I just remember I really liked William, and then I really fucking hated William. That's all I really remember. <laughs> and the second book I got is Clockwork Prince. And this is another one where I hated everybody and kind of forgot what happened in the first book and so I stopped reading it. But I'll give it another try. And then Clockwork Princess, which is the last book, which is a book I haven't even started yet. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the next book I got is The Bane Chronicles. And this is the whole reason why I want to read this series. Like, I want to read The Mortal Instruments. I want to read The Infernal Devices. I want to read Lady whatever, Lady Midnight. All because of Bane and his hot face. And I need him in my life. I don't care. He's in that relationship with that other guy. I don't care. I don't care. He's mine. I claimed him. He's mine. Huh? 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 I can live forever. I'll be there for him. He's fictional. Damn it. <laughs> my argument about Ms. Mads Mikkelsen to my parents every freaking day. I'm like, <laughs> Mads Mikkelsen in my life, right? <laughs> 
And the last book I'm going to show you is Lady Midnight, which is the new book in her, well, the first book in her new series, The Dark Artifacts. I have pre-ordered the second book, and I'm also getting the Mortal Instruments series, and it's just going to come in next month, not this month, because I live in Germany, and Amazon takes a while to ship here, so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently, this is, like, shadow hunters that aren't trying to be shadow hunters. Like, they're already shadow hunters, and now they're, like, love murder. I hope there's no love triangle. I swear to God, if there's a love triangle, I'm going to hit myself in the face. I'm going to break my nose. I'm not ready for this. Anyway, that's the end of my book haul. There is Batman looking all sexy. Ooh, I'm like fondling his underwear, but it's fine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy your day. Bye!